it's Sharon. Hi, Sharon. Hi, guys. Yes, we are live from the Viaduct Bistro. It's a, the one safe bit of the set I could find, but anything could happen because I am here with three of the leading ladies from Coronation Street. Welcome to the show, Tanisha Gorey, Molly Gallagher and Sally Carmen, who, frankly, a sinkhole could open up under at any second. Tragic Abbey. Who knows what's going to happen? <laughs> but let's let's start with you first, um, uh, Tanisha. So. Asher Allahan, one of the Allahan family. I think this is the first time the Allahans have been nominated as, as best family. Is this right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it doesn't really surprise me because all they do is shout at each other. So, I mean... <laughs> Well, it's, it's, it's shouting, but also massively dramatic. You've had some fantastic storylines. So it's, it's you, Addy, and, of course, the legend that, that is our, our dev. Um, and are you all, like, a, a family on, on, off screen as well? Yeah, I mean, there's only three of us. We're quite a small family, so you've kind of got to be. You know, you've got to be close, but all our, a lot of our scenes are together. So it's nice as well to have that when you come to work as well. Well, you said it was just shouting, but actually, I mean, you've been at the show since you were six. No acting experience whatsoever. You've had fantastic storylines, and I know that um, Max Evans as Corey is, is nominated as well this year, and they've got the skin lightning one and the sexting storyline. Um, this, uh, just, did people, I mean, uh, this must be incredible to get all these dramatic storylines. You, you started age six, you'd had no experience whatsoever. <laughs> no, I, I think it's quite nice to finally not be the kid running up the stairs or, you know, being shouted down for your tea and, and being in the background. <laughs> You know, it's nice to actually have something, you know, especially with these two, it's amazing. But, and Max as well, you know, he's just amazing. I really hope that one day he comes back. Oh, well, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. And he's going to be there on the night as well? Yes, yes. Let's all vote for Max. Ah, let's see, let's see. And, and the Allahans, of course. So, moving on, of course, we, we, we wear a, a couple, a relationship between these two characters on screen. Molly Gallagher, you play Nina. I mean, I was re-watching some of the scenes last night, immensely powerful, all about the hate crime storyline um, and how she was attacked because of her appearance. I mean, what has it meant for you to have this, this hugely powerful storyline? Well, it was been absolutely amazing. I feel really privileged and, you know, lucky to, to have got to be, you know, part of telling the story. Um, I think Coronet Coronation Street having an alternative character has been amazing and I think... It has had a brilliant reaction for that reason, you know, the alternative community and everybody else. I think people have learned a lot and I think people are a lot more aware of, you know, kind of different people and, you know, how to kind of accept everyone and, and love everyone for who they are. And I think that, yeah, it was a great story. I love that. And I think it's only soaps that have really got the power to do that. I've had to get a clipboard of uh, all the nominations these girls have got between them. So your best storyline, best single episode and best on-screen partnership with David Nilsson and another legend. And what did you feel like when you first, when did you find out that you were going to be in a partnership with, with Roy Cropper? <laughs> so I think it was when I got the, the script for the audition. I obviously saw Nina and Roy and I was, I was like, what? What? <laughs> um, knowing that you would work with such an icon, obviously, if I got the part, and I think that made me even more nervous. I mean, you're going to be nervous enough as it is for a Corey audition, aren't you? <laughs> um, but I think as soon as I got on set, I knew that I was in safe hands, like the best person. I knew how much I was going to learn, and I think that's the best part. I'm always learning something new from him. He's absolutely brilliant. And then being up for an award with David Nielsen. I'm just like, oh, cool. If I'm ever having a bad day, if I'm ever having a bad day, I'm just I just saying, I get to up with David Nielsen. Like, who would ever think that? And you said so. you used to watch the soap um, with your mum, uh, yes. the soap awards with your mum at home, circling who you thought was going to win. Yeah, I'd have, I'd have all the, my winners on there, and if they won, I'd, and, you know, they would always be, you know, the Corey, the Corey actors, because well, I was a big fan. Fingers so, crossed you know. for you and, you and Roy. Come on, David, let's hope you can do it. Um, but got some, any romance for you and Coming back? Is that going to come back? Well, yeah, we, 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 we hope are. so. We love it. We oh. love the little duo, don't we? Oh, yeah. <laughs> It'd be good. Maybe that's a tiny bit of gossip. Right then, lady on the end. Well, I I'm a bit disappointed because we should have been doing this in Costa Rica, of course. You should know. have. I'm absolutely gutted. I bought my sunscreen, <laughs> sun hat. Tankini. <laughs> Tankini. We could have done it. We could have done it. Um, I, I've got my clipboard. It's that big. Um, best leading performer, um, best storyline, and um, best dramatic performance. Um, this is fantastic. I mean, Abby Webster is a, is a gar crash, um, but uh, yeah. viewers obviously absolutely love her, don't they? I think it's a bit of Marmite. <laughs> 
truth be told. But, yeah, it's, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, it's a dream come true. It's just a joy to be able to blow up cars and, and dump spaghetti sauce on Sal, Sal's head <laughs> and all the other things that I've got to do and, and work with these guys. Um, I've just got to say, Moll always makes me laugh when you tell her what storyline's coming up. She's just like, oh, I can't believe it, because she's such a fan. And it just oh, yeah. cracks me up. She's brilliant. She's um, brilliant. Well, look at your storyline. So last week, incredibly um, powerful scene. So Toya, well, Imran's dad, baby daddy's dad, uh, baby daddy's dad, sorry about that. Um, but, you know, we kind of had it coming. Um, has Toya got a conscience? Because she's now got your kid. Do you think we should get yeah, the kid? Yeah, I, th I think she does have a conscience, yeah. And, you know, she's just... She's just blinded by love, isn't she? She's just trying to do the right thing. And she's a trained listener. So I think she'll take advice from those around her, hopefully, and do the right thing. Well, well to see. Do you, is that what you want for her? Because, I mean, she could do with a bit of a break, couldn't oh, she? Yeah. Do you I want that happy so. family unit? You I do. I, it'd be lovely to have that for a few months, just so I can <laughs> I can have a lion. Uh, <laughs> but, no, but no, it would be nice. It would be nice to see a sort of like you know a, have a bonded family u uh, unit for once. And obviously, when things are really going really well, there's more drama to be had when things don't go so well. So that's it. Well, that's talking it. of going well, so there was a scene uh, in the last week. It was you and Kev together. Is this for keeps? Are you and Kev back together? <sighs> I can't possibly comment on that. I introduced you as Abby Webster. You did, yeah, yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I can't possibly oh, say. Come on, if you've got Kev on your side, that will be enough. Yes. <laughs> Press up is over there. I love it. We've just got the nod. Yes, you and Kev are back together. The back on. Hey! The back on. So you're filming and it's there. <laughs> Fantastic. So guys, you're all going. You're all going on the night. Yes. Going there. Yes. Yes. I, I, for you two, is it actually your first time going to the Soap Awards? Is this right? Yeah. Oh, wow. Because of COVID, of course, with you, and then you, you were too young. Yeah, I'm too young. <laughs> I've been too young my whole life. It's going to be trouble. Ah, and you did want to point out it's your birthday on... Um... On Thursday. There you go. <laughs> gifts, gifts can be sent in. She'd like to, she'd like, like to be known. Your last win uh, was when you last went. Um, Coronation Street triumphed in 2019. Can you do it again? Yeah. I mean, we'll get a drink down him, he'll be all right. Well, this is it, Scove, because Scove was a bit nervous in the studio um, because he's not done it for two years and he is, it, it is live, so you're, you're, you're going to go and get a little drink down him. Well, him I out. mean, a bit of confidence. Doesn't harm <laughs> anyone, you know? There we go, Scove, you've got to come to Tanisha. She's the one that's going to have the tequila. <laughs> um, and also, I know we're talking about it, this week is all about loving the soaps, being there. I'm hearing there's going to be a little nod towards Neighbours on the night. It's their oh. last week of filming for those guys as got well. To. Any message? Oh, I I just, I, I just remember watching it at school and running home when I was 13 and just <sighs> switching the telly and just like, I want to live in Australia. <laughs> it's the end of an era, I'm gutted. It is. Well, guys, yeah. best of luck, 12 nominations. Let's hope we see you on screen. Throwing back to you now in the studio. Thank, Thank you very much. You. Good, Good luck, luck, ladies. Yeah, the very the best, best of night. luck. And now I know where the party's going to be <sighs> and the, 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 the tequila there. That's all fine. Sorted. And I promise you I'll do it as quickly as I can and get you in the bar as fast as possible. <laughs>